All right, let's take a look at the homework for tutorial 17. So the task was to make the snake game rely on uh, chrono instead of just counting frames. So what we're going to do, first off, let's make a branch here. We'll call this one uh, T17 homework branch. I don't know, doesn't matter. Create that branch. And so let's take a look at some code here. Game.cpp. So now, like, unlike in the poo game, we can't make this, the snake like move by, you know, a fraction, like multiply the amount the snake moves by delta time. That doesn't make any goddamn sense uh, because, I mean, you can't move half a, uh, a square on the grid. You can only move by integral amounts. So that's not going to fly. But the rate at which the snake moves here and the rate at which it speeds up, we can control that with a timer instead of counting frames. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing is first is we're going to need our timer. So let's open up the folder for our code in SNCC. Open up the uh, folder here and let's open up folder for our code in Poo game that we've been working on in the tutorial. And we're going to find our uh, timer. Where is it? Frame timer. And we're just going to copy these two files over into here. Make sure not to move them. You want to copy them. Uh, and then you're going to want to take these and drag them into the solution. And the H file should go into here and the CPP file should go into here. And there you go. You've just added that. That's the beauty of splitting up your classes into separate files. You want to use that class in a different project. You just copy the file over, you drag it into the solution, and it's in there. And so, now what we want to do is go into game.h, I guess. And we're going to include frame timer. And let's add a frame timer to our shit here. So, frame timer ft. And we'll toggle. And in update model, we're going to want to go constant uh, float dt is equal to ft.mark. So we set up our delta time that we're going to be using in here. Now, we're counting uh, discrete frames here, but we don't want to count frames anymore. We're going to be counting in seconds. So we're going to change all of these guys here. Snake move period minimum. We're just going to change all these ints floats. All right. Now, what are we going to do here? So let's change the numbers as well. Snick move period minimum. So the move period is the amount of time between moves. So I want maximum of, I don't know, uh, let's say 0 0.07 seconds per move. That's quite fast. We can tweak it later if it's too fast. Snake move period. So this is the starting move period. And we're going to say it starts off at 0. Point, I don't know what we should put. 0. 0.4? 0. 0.4 seconds per move. That's rather slow. A little over 2 per second. Uh, snake move counter. Okay, this is going to start off at 0. Float. Now, the snick speed up. Okay, I'm going to change the way speed up works. So, we'll get to that when we get to that. So, snick move counter. Now, we're not going to increment. We could inc No, we couldn't increment. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. We're going to add delta time to snick move counter. Plus an equal delta time. And then, uh, if snick move counter is greater than or equal to snick move period snick move counter here we're going to minus and equals snick move period so if we exceed the snick move period then we subtract that amount we basically we're accumulating time in this counter and when that time goes over the move period, we consume that time, that amount of time that's in the move period, and then we do the thing. 
I don't know if that makes any sense, but if it doesn't, you can ask me questions somewhere. So yeah, we check to see if it's greater than the period. If so, we consume the amount of time of the period, and then we do the thing. We move the snack. Now here, uh, for the snack speed up, uh, basically it's the same idea, uh, but instead of speeding up by uh, discrete steps every time it goes over some period count, uh, because the, uh, the snack move period is a float, we can speed up every frame by a, an amount that is scaled by the amount of time that has passed. So we don't have to do it in discrete steps. Let me show you what I mean in code. So, here, we can do snack move period minus, fuck, minus and equals, I don't know, uh, dt times some scaling factor. One thousandth of a second for every second. I don't know if that's too much or too little. Uh, So, what do we need for this? We're going to need some kind of a, uh... So we don't need a snick speed up period here. We need a snick, uh, speed up. I'm going to call it just a factor. And we're going to call this factor, we're going to set it to 0 0.01. One to start. In 30 seconds, it'll reach the maximum speed. So if we don't like that, we can say it can reach maximum speed in one minute, if I do it like this. And then we go, we'll copy this. Copy that, we'll go back here. So we'll make the snick move period. Now, we would want it to uh, the bottom out at the minimum speed. So, snick move period is equal to the maximum STD maximum, that is, of snick, fuck, I don't got my move period minus this, or minimum snick minimum, what did I call that bullshit? Go back here. Snick move period minimum. Fuck. There we go. So the snack move period will be set either to itself minus, uh, this should be the uh, snack speed up factor, uh, or the minimum period, whichever one is greater. So it'll never go below this. And so now we don't, we're not, we're not uh, speeding up the snack in discrete amounts every so often. The snack is speeding up gradually every single frame, and the amount it speeds up is proportional to the amount of time it takes the frame. Alright, so... That should be good, I believe. Let's try to build it. See if anything complains. No, nope. so far so good. So we're running in the debugger. Presenter. Alright, so far so good. We are moving. And it, I, it appears to be speeding up it could just be my imagination here, but I feel like, yeah, it is definitely speeding up gradually here. So this is nice. Instead of having, you know, discrete jumps in the speed up, it's now a nice gradual linear speed up. All right, it's going pretty goddamn fast now. I'm, I think I'm probably going to die soon if I don't. Uh, well, maybe not, because I'm, I'm fucking MLG Pro at Snick Game, apparently. But, uh, yeah, no, so it's definitely working. And I like the effect. I think it's better than what we had before. So, this was how you... There we go. Good. Don't have to talk while I'm playing Snake Game anymore. So this is one, one way of implementing uh, Snake with the Chrono. But you might have had other ways, and that's fine too. As long as you get the, uh, the end result, that it's now independent of frame rate, it's all good to go. And if you have any questions about what I did here, uh, feel free to ask in the comments, or on the Discord, or on the forum. But, uh, yeah, I will see you soon with some more C++.